Hey, what's up students? Today, we're going over a phase diagram chart. If you need help in this area, stay tuned. I'm gonna break it down into detail so that you better understand this if you see it on a test. Phase diagram, what is it? Well, let's go ahead and break it down into what we can already notice. First things first, this is a graph. And it's sort of a line graph, right? Simple enough. Let's break it down a little bit further. Over here, you notice we have one, two areas that are going horizontally. We'll call these areas phase changes, okay? Then we have three other areas that are sort of increasing, right? This is gonna be called the heating phases. Awesome. If you didn't understand that, no problem. Just rewind a little bit and watch it again. I'm gonna break it down from there just a little bit more. Over here, you notice I have a blue line and another blue line. All I did there is took a ruler, drew it in, this way I can visually appreciate what's going on. Notice zero degrees, 100 degrees. So let's go ahead and discuss these blue lines. What I've indicated here and here are what we're gonna call phase changes, all right? So we'll only have two phase changes on these types of graphs. Okay, the first one is gonna be a melting phase change. The second one is going to be a boiling phase change. Okay, so let's use water as an example. Water's normal boiling phase is gonna be at 100 degrees Celsius. So its vaporization is 100 degrees Celsius. That's when it becomes in its gaseous state, all right? Down here, we have zero degrees Celsius. So again, water's normal freezing point is zero degrees Celsius, okay? Now, if you notice over here, we have one, two, three areas that are sort of increasing, right? These areas are gonna be called the heating phase. So, uh, zero degrees Celsius is right here. What do you think this line is going to be? Solid, liquid, or gas? Okay? If you said solid, you would be right. We have a solid phase right here. Anything below zero degrees is going to be considered a negative number. So if you have a question on your exam or homework that starts you off at a negative four degrees, this is where you will be starting. All right, so as the solid gets hotter, we reach our first melting phase. Now across this plane, there is no change in temperature. There is no delta T at all. This plane remains zero degrees, okay? Again, if you were to have negative four degrees here, this would be zero degrees. Your final temperature would be zero degrees, your initial temperature would be negative four degrees. But more on that later. Now, notice on this plane right here, it's increasing. So, we are making a liquid here as it gets hotter, okay? As the solid increases in temperature, the liquid is getting hotter until we finally reach our final phase in this case, which will be our boiling phase or our vaporization phase. This is where the liquid is changing to a gas. At this point, we're at 100 degrees Celsius, okay? And across this plane, there is no delta T. There is no change in temperature, okay? And then you would reach your final plane where it would increase and eventually go off into a supercritical fluid. All right, so let's summarize quickly what we went over. It's a pretty simple concept, so hopefully I didn't lose you along the way. So remember, two areas of phase change. We used water as an example. The first phase change is gonna be its melting point. The second phase change is gonna be its vaporization point, okay? 
Then we had three areas where the temperature is considered heating. All right, anything below this line over here is gonna be a negative number. As the solid is getting hotter, we reach our first cha phase change. Remember, phase change, there is no delta T, okay? Then we begin to increase the temperature where the liquid is getting hotter. Over here on these planes, there will be a delta T, so be careful. And then we reach our second and final phase change. And then from there, as the gas gets hotter, the temperature will rise again. All right, guys, I hope this helped. That is the goal. If you liked this video, smash the thumbs up. Also, if you want to, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think so that I can help you with more videos in the future. Again, thank you for watching. Maybe even consider subscribing. See you later, guys.